Hey you guys, happy Sunday. So today we're going to be doing another mukbang video. I always say mukbang, it's mukbang in it. Mukbang video and today we're going to be doing Panera Bread. So I got a few things from Panera Bread. Hold on y'all, my baby. Okay, what's wrong? Let me see. She's trying to open her apple y'all, hold on. So we got some few things from Panera Bread. Um, I got a sandwich and this is the Turkey Bravo sandwich. Um, super duper good. This is how it looks. The Turkey Bravo. And then we have some chips. This is their kettle chips. And then we got a Caesar salad. And then we're just gonna be having some water today because I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. So we ain't gonna eat too bad. And then I got like a little drink thing because I kind of want some flavor. So today y'all, we are going to be talking about what's been in the shade room for. Today we're gonna be talking about what's been in the shade room this following week y'all. And it's been a lot that's been in the shade room that I wanna talk to y'all about. So we're gonna dig right in. So on this sandwich, we got like some spring lettuce some tomatoes and some cheese. I don't see no, oh, I see the bacon now. Bacon's right here. Y'all can see the bacon. So, let's try this out. I had it before. And this is like, this is my second time eating Panera Bread. So, yeah, y'all. Super freaking good. So, Y'all, we're gonna dig in about all this tea that's been in the shade room. And so first, I wanna talk about Jeffree Star and his boyfriend, y'all. What do y'all think about this? Like, for one, it's very common to me because I live in Atlanta and it's a lot of DL men out here. And I actually had an old friend whose child father came out gay like years later like six to seven years later so yeah it's not surprising so it's not surprising to me but who and i don't even i didn't even know who jeffree star was before i seen him in the shade room when him and uh jonathan the hairstylist got in no him and arrogant tay got into it and jonathan the hairstylist went and did uh, Jeffree Star's hair. I don't even know who he was. I don't even know what he do. Okay, so It's just interesting. I Personally, it doesn't affect me because all love wins at the end of the day hmm. All love wins at the end of the day and I don't judge Maybe it was oh boys. Maybe this was the time for him to come out. You know, I don't judge. And so it is what it is. So yeah, so all love wins at the end of the day. I mean, if they're happy, that's all that matters. I do feel bad for the child's mother, his baby mother. But girl, if you seen the signs, you should have ran when no, you seen the signs. I don't know my grandma. Hey. So yeah y'all that was really really interesting and who else been in the shade room this week okay let me see who else been in the shade room y'all because i got some notes taken down um oh yeah y'all marcus houston how do y'all feel about the situation like if y'all don't know if y'all don't follow the shade room, Marcus Houston from back in the day, he married a 19 year old female. Marcus is 30 and he's somewhere in his 30s. Hey, and he's and hey, hey, we're not talking about your dad. Marcus married a 19 year old female and I think he's like 34, something around there. Personally, I feel like it's not right, okay? I can't believe how we slandered R. Kelly 
so bad for marrying Aaliyah and then having all these girls. I know it's two different situations, but if you think about it, I looked on his Instagram and he said a two year, this is their like two year anniversary, three year anniversary. Like, so he's been dating her since she was about 16 or 17 and that's illegal. I see, that's illegal. So, I mean, I don't see how everybody see that it's okay because it's not okay. And I don't think we should normalize our kids getting married at 19. That's just me. I don't want my child to be married at 19. I would definitely like inform her of the benefits and the disbenefits of getting married at a young age, you know? So I really don't much have much to say about that. I don't I don't agree with it. I just don't feel like that's right. And I just feel like the fact that we went so hard on R. Kelly when he was dating 19 and 18 year olds and 17 year olds like y'all they gave me this little bitty thing of caesar salad they be so trifling so i don't know i don't think we should normalize it tell me how y'all feel in the comments below so next in the shade room we have is zanique um zanique what's her last name i don't even know her last name Zanique, um, Tiny's daughter, she is pregnant with her first child. I am so happy for her. Um, I've seen a lot of like bad comments and I'm like, why are these comments so bad? Like, she's 24, 25, like, she's old enough to have a kid. <laughs> I don't know, it's because of the, maybe the dude she's dating. I don't know much about him. So it's not really much for me to say about him, but I'm so happy for her. The baby is going to be absolutely gorgeous. And I can't wait. Like, I can't believe Tiny and T.I. are about to be grandparents. This child is so good. Take a bite. So, next in the shade room we have is a uh, kiki palmer is going to be hosting the vmas and i am so happy um i think the post said that this is the first black female since 1987 who has hosted the vmas and i am so excited and y'all we need to watch the vmas because of her like i usually don't watch the vmas but this year i will definitely be watching the vmas I love Kiki. She's always been a favorite of mine. I hope she don't make it boring and come with her little corny jokes. Y'all know she can. She can have some little corny jokes. <laughs> but we definitely need to support her and the BMAs this year because that is so fantastic. Y'all see my child here? <laughs> Um, this sandwich is absolutely bomb, y'all. because she likes apples. So. It's really a big one. I heard some apples. So, what's some other good me um other good items that's um on, on on that you guys like at Panera Bread? All I get like I said, it's like my second time at Panera Bread, so I don't know much about was good their lemonade looks really good i think next time i'm definitely going to try their lemonade because it looks bomb lemonade. anywho back to the shade room so the last person yeah, i want to talk about is miss tony braxton honey and 
her post about saying that she she wishes that when she was younger she would have had sex more and she would have party more i personally feel the same because I'm not old, so <laughs> I know I still have like the chance, but I think I wish I would have did it more. Not the sex part, keep on the sex part, but partying. I wish I would have partied more when I had before I had her, because I was like an old lady. All I did was go to school and come home. But I definitely wish I would have partied way, way, way more. <laughs> because now it's like I want to party but it's kind of hard when you got someone here <laughs> but what? I definitely kind of feel what she's saying we're there I don't want to get to where I'm like older like her age and I'm like dang I wish I would have party more and you know I don't want to wait until then so I definitely feel what she's saying um Tony I think her kids are like in their teenage ages, so she can still party, but I know she's at like health risk, so I know she she really can't party as much as she would like to, so. But, anywho you guys, I am finished with my first sandwich. I'm going to save the second one for later on tonight, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video so, so much, and I will see y'all in my next video.